What's going on everybody? I'm Trey Herrero and we're back in the garage today. Um, today I wanted to start the wire tuck on the BMW. This is the first step um, to making the BMW really, really nice and pretty on the inside. Okay, so this is the engine bay right now. Um, pretty much I gotta just clean up these guys here. The back harness there. Um, you got. I still have the original engine harness in here. Um, it's really not needed, so I'm gonna cut a lot of it away. Um, and these guys, a lot of this stuff here is not needed as well. So I'm gonna cut those away. And I'm gonna leave the fuses there, obviously. And then I'm gonna do a better job with my wiring back here. So this will be the first step of cleaning up the engine bay on the BMW. Um, here in a, in a few weeks or so, I'm gonna be getting the long tubes on this car. All right, so the goal is to tuck uh, tuck a lot of these wires. Um, I think I will be removing the fenders to tuck some of these under the fenders so you don't see them in the engine bay whatsoever. I really am going for a really, really clean engine bay look. So I don't know about you guys, but I really like the look of a nice tucked wire um, or really, really clean engine bay. So um, I'm actually just gonna try to get this up to my standards or at least looking as clean as the GTO engine bay. If I get it like that, then I'll be more than satisfied just makes it a lot simpler on me um, most of the engine harness on the BMW is not needed for the LS swap so I I literally kept a lot of it just in case but I don't really need it so if you guys can see this big old harness um, a lot of it is not needed so this big guy I'm gonna I'm gonna strip down and then make it a lot cleaner run them all together see this big guy um, literally this little one here is my main engine harness for the LS stuff. All of this could go. Uh, I'm still gonna strip it to make sure I don't need any of it, but uh, all of this can go. So pretty much what I'm doing is what you would get with like a wiring wiring specialty harness. Um, they already simplify the harness for you, so all of this stuff is already cut away if you were to go that route for the wiring harness. Um, I'm pretty much getting rid of anything I don't need in the car. We're trying to make this whole car as simple as possible, so first step is making the engine bay nice and clean. Second step would be doing all the interior and the body harness. Um, but for right now, we're just cutting away stuff we don't need making it look pretty um, so when I do get all the rest of the pieces that I have an Im immaculate engine bay and it's something I'm gonna be proud of driving it to car shows to meets whatever okay so this is the total wires that I just cut away I still got to cut away these guys here um, but yeah not really a tutorial because I've already went through the wiring on a previous video I've just shown you that I'm gonna be tucking it making it look pretty okay we're back in the garage I am working on the little light harnesses um, cleaning those up and then I gotta move on to this side which is all of this stuff right in here I gotta clean this up and then we're gonna move inside to the car so this is probably a two-day project but it's it's a whole lot cleaner so far you guys are already seen how much um, I pretty much got rid of inside the back engine bay part now it's just getting rid of all this extra making it pretty so then when all the new parts come in I am able to install and it looks really really nice so I'm super hyped with how this came out for today so these are what I'm using I still need these these guys. Um, horns are here, lights obviously, and then this harness runs across in here, across, and then to my other lights. Um, I got rid of the nastiness here, and then I simplified the harness in the back. Um, so tomorrow I have a cool video planned for you guys with this same with this car, and then we're gonna get into the GTO stuff. So tomorrow um, I'm gonna go through all the inside of the car so as I've been daily driving this car I haven't really paid attention to a lot of this stuff but I'm gonna get all of these guys tied up we're gonna try to get this nice and clean get everything gone through through I would like to tuck some of these wires or at least tape them down with some sort of gorilla tape and then zip tie everything nice and clean so stay tuned for tomorrow um, this week I have some extra time I got some family in town so I will be posting a little bit more frequently this week
So we are one step closer to being road race ready, also drift ready. Um, I'm gonna be doing the rear end on this car, um, changing it from the welded diff back over to the LSD. And my phone is ringing, so it's a wrap. I gotta answer this. We'll see you guys later.